So you've decided that you are going to move to Kansas City. Nice! And not only that, you're going to move to the best neighborhood in Kansas City. Well, you're in the right place because this is a full vlog tour of Leewood. What is up? My name is Jalen. I am with the Fountain City Real Estate team here in Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas City, Kansas. Today we have a real treat for you and that is a full vlog tour of the Leewood suburb. It is rated number one as the best place to live in the whole Kansas City area. So if you're looking to move to Kansas City, we would love to hear from you. We know that it can be an anxiety causing move to move to a completely new area. So we do these vlog tours so that you can get a sense of what it's like to live in these different areas. So if you're looking to move here, 8164-MOVE-KC, 8164-MOVE-KC is the best way to get a hold of us. We promise you that if you call us, if you email us using the email below, we will get back to you within a day. So 8164 Move KC. Now let's get out to Leewood. All right, everyone, what's up? Welcome to my car. We're about to cross State Line Road here and head into Leewood. Uh, I'm coming from where I live in Midtown, Kansas City. Uh, I usually come from there, number one, because it's obviously where I live, but number two, it's because it's pretty centralized location to Kansas City. It's on the Missouri side and it gives you a sense of where Leewood is and the surrounding streets that kind of drive into the location. So once we cross State Line Road, which is the last um, stoplight, we have officially entered Leewood. And we're in a place called Leewood Estates right now. Uh, as you can see, kind of traveling on 103rd. Uh, we see the classic Kansas City construction going on here. And I'm just gonna pull over to a couple of uh, roads here and a couple of listings that I saw on the MLS. And I kind of want to show you the neighborhoods and give you a kind of general sense of what it would be like to live in Leewood if that's something that you're interested in doing. Um, of course, if you're new to our channel, this channel is all about life in Kansas City. Whether you're thinking about moving here, relocating here, you already live here and you're deciding to relocate to a different area, this channel is for you. So if you're thinking of uh, buying a house in Kansas City, if you're thinking about moving here for a job, if you're thinking about relocating, we get people like you all the time who call us, text us, and get a hold of us to help us to, to have them have us help them move. So I just parked here on High Drive, and here we are right in the height of, right in the right in the middle of Leewood Estates, I should say. And Leewood Estates is rated as one of the best neighborhoods or best suburbs to live in Kansas City. I guess Leewood is a suburb, and then High uh, Leewood Estates is the is the neighborhood. So here you can see some beautiful homes. Uh, as I'm kind of trying to stabilize the camera here. You can see some beautiful homes around us. Here you have this beautiful ranch home that's on a huge, huge lot here um, that I can see. The closest listing that I could find here was already pending and it was pending uh, probably for higher than it was listed, but it was listed at $575,000, um, which is a, a pretty normal price point in Leewood. Uh, I would say that the average price point in Leewood, as I, as I looked it up earlier, is around is around 600,000. Uh, so if you're gonna get an average home in Leewood, then that's probably what you're gonna pay. Now I actually saw some listings that were in the threes, um, but of course for the threes in Leewood, you're gonna get something a lot smaller. You're not gonna get uh, a bunch of land. Here on High Drive is a, is a nice cul-de-sac. So if you have kids, um, this is a, a sweet area because as I kind of walk around this cul-de-sac here and kind of show you some of the homes that are around here, um, this is a great area because it's really quiet. There's nobody here. I mean, it's just me walking around with my GoPro. I'm sure people think I'm kind of a weirdo, but this gets you a real sense of what it's like to live here. I'm hoping I can find some residents to interview later on in this video so I can talk to them about what they like living in Leewood because I know a lot of people just absolutely love Leewood and they love to talk about it. And so if I can find somebody who I can get a firsthand account of what it's like to live in Leewood, then I totally will. Uh, I'm also gonna show you right now the one that's pending for $575. That's right on the other side of 103rd. Um, just so you can get a sense of the inside of what it would be like to live in a house in Leewood Estates. Um, man, when I was telling you, uh, let me tell you a story about Leewood here. So when I was first moving here to Kansas City, um, we didn't know anything about the area. And that's one of the things that you really should know is that you should know something about the area before you move in here because I didn't know about Leewood. And back in 2019, when we were looking for houses, 
Kansas City real estate hadn't really exploded yet. And so one of the things that we probably could have afforded was I think we could have, could have afforded a, a smaller house in Leewood. And we didn't need that much room. It was just me and my, uh, my wife, my kid, and my dog. Uh, at the time we had two cats, RIP cats. They've uh, since left us <laughs> since that time. But <clears throat> when we were moving here, we kind of got this advice. I forget who, I don't think it was a realtor's fault. I really don't. Um, but somebody said, hey, don't move to the Kansas side. And they were saying, hey, you know, the Kansas side is not where you want to be. And we said, okay. So we only limited our search to the Missouri side. And that was in the end a big mistake because Man, as I'm looking back, uh, being a realtor now, looking back into the multiple listing service and, and homes in Leewood, man, they were right above our price point, but we probably could have pushed ourselves to get something like that, especially with the super low interest rates. Um, you know, no regrets because I believe that uh, the Lord has taken care of us when we've gotten here and, and, and the friends that we've made and everything like that. So we really don't have any regrets, but I do wish that I would have taken a, a little bit of harder look in terms of the monetary side, a little bit of a harder look at what it would be like to live here in Leewood because um, it is beautiful here. It's really safe. It's a really quiet place to raise your family. Um, again, no regrets. I think that everything works out in this way for a reason, but um, as I'm looking at some of these houses, man, they're sweet. They're, they're incredible. Um, big lots, all the room that you could want. A lot of ranch style houses in both of the houses that we've lived in, they've been two story houses. And you know what? Uh, you kind of get tired of like, especially for us, all our clothes are on like the third floor and then laundry's in the basement. And so with these ranch style houses that you're seeing here in Leewood, like here's another one here um, on High Street, man, laundry, Laundry being on the same level would be amazing, but that's not the way it is and that's okay. So here we've reached 103rd. We're gonna uh, pop over to a different part of Leewood so I can give you um, another sense of what it's like to live in Leewood. But here you go, Leewood Estates. We have officially checked out a street in Leewood Estates as you can see right there. All right, see you at the next stop. Alrighty, we just left Leewood Estates. We are heading to Town Center Plaza and we're turning on Mission and we're going south now in Leewood. And let me tell you of a story I have about driving in Leewood. So I was here trying to show a house uh, over in Leewood and I was on, um, I was actually on 103rd and I was in the middle lane and there's this uh, younger dude who was driving here and he was on his right lane, uh, kind of where that white car is right now. And I was going forward in the, um, in the left lane here, uh, he decided to like pull out in front of me and I could not avoid him in time. So I eventually uh, crashed into him as one does when you know somebody pulls out in front of you. And so <clears throat> uh, he was a really young dude. He was actually really nice about it. Um, I forget if his uh, insurance, yeah, his insurance paid for everything uh, as they should. Um, but I'm also gonna pull into here before we get to Leewood Estates. And I kinda wanna show you Mission Farms. Uh, the reason, uh, or before we get to Town Center Plaza, and I wanna show you Mission Farms. Uh, the reason I wanna show you Mission Farms is because I know a couple of good places to eat here in Mission Farms. So we're just gonna pull over, kinda walk around, give you uh, the vibe of uh, Mission Farms here, which is a shopping center, a place where you can rent. So if you're, if that's kind of uh, an angle that you're trying to go, you can rent here too. So I'm just gonna stop here, pop out, walk around a little bit, and show you this area in Leewood. I'm here at Mission Farms. There's a couple of places that I know around here. Uh, number one, this is uh, Elite Cycling. So when my son bought his first bike, or when I bought my son his first bike, he doesn't buy anything because he's you know four years old. Uh, we came here in order to get his uh, bike tire changed. <clears throat> we got a, a inner tube there, and I drove all the way back home from Leewood, which is about 20 minutes, it's not super far. And we got home, we installed it, we found out that it does not fit. <laughs> and so so uh, that was dumb. I uh, really kind of irritated myself there. Um, we're over here too, next to a place called Enjoy Pure Foods, which is um, a, a place that actually a lot of uh, my friends who have kind of gastrointestinal, you know, uh, ailments, ailments here, um, a lot of them can eat here and have no problem. Uh, it's one of the interesting, uh, it, it's, it's good. I mean, it's, uh, it's interesting that both or three of my friends who have kind of these GI 
things, whether it's uh, Crohn's disease or I think ulcerative colitis, um, they're okay to eat here. Um, in other places, it really kind of upsets their stomach. So Enjoy Pure, Pure Foods is a place for really organic and fresh stuff. I've had their poke bowls before. Um, I've had their wraps before. Um, I think those are the only two things. Their shakes are okay. I mean, whenever you eat like organic, they're not as sweet. Uh, they're all like, you know, freshly made and all, all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's good. Um, it's not my cup of tea because I thankfully don't have any of those um, any of those ailments that require me to eat special foods like they do. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one of the things here. So we're gonna get back in the car. We're gonna, um, again, continue our journey. One of the things with Leewood too is if you're moving from a place where there are not a lot of Trader Joe's or there are a lot of Trader Joe's, I should say, Kansas City doesn't have a lot of Trader Joe's. It's really unfortunate. I don't know why that is, but there is one here in Leewood and there's one here on, there's one on Ward Parkway up in Overland Park. And so we're pulling up to a pretty big shopping center here, but there is a Trader Joe's there. You can get your you know, seasonal snacks. That's what we love from Trader Joe's. We love our, we love their frozen meals. Of course, we shop at Aldi. Boom, we're gonna make it across here. You go tap, tap. Um, we shop at Aldi a lot. We don't shop at Trader Joe's because it's just expensive to shop at Trader Joe's. Uh, it, it's not within our price range, but Aldi certainly is. And there's an Aldi down here too. So we're pulling up into Town Center Plaza. We're gonna walk around there for a little bit and then we're gonna check it out. All right, so we have made it to Town Center Plaza and here you've got a pottery barn for kids. Pottery barn for kids, dude, I didn't even know that that was a thing, to be honest with you. Uh, here's one of the things that I enjoy about Leewood as well. So we are notoriously cheap. We have, uh, you know, we stay within our budget for a lot of different things and a lot of different, uh, a lot of the reasons that we can do that is because we get a lot of stuff used. And so I'm a big Facebook Marketplace shopper. I shop Facebook Marketplace all the time. Anything that I need, immediately I'm gonna look at Facebook Marketplace first. My wife uh, thinks I'm kinda cheap, which I am, um, but one of the one of the best places to get, uh, one of the best places to go for Facebook Marketplace is here in Leewood, because you have a lot of people who will get really nice stuff from places like here, and then they'll sell it secondhand uh, to me for like less than half price. And you know, I'm like a little, uh, little Facebook Marketplace uh, thief, or I, I shouldn't say thief, I do, I do pay people for these things, I don't just steal them. Um, but I do find a lot of great deals in Leewood. Uh, I remember we found this ride-on toy that was retailing for like 225 bucks uh, in Target. We bought it here in Leewood for, I think it was like 35 bucks. And my kid loves it. It was fantastic. Um, and that's because, like I said before, I don't want to spend money retail. Uh, I'm not gonna take my kids to Pottery Barn. If you, if you will, then hey, good on you. Maybe I'll buy your stuff after you, your kids outgrow it. But that's one of the fortunate things for my kids is they get, ne they get nothing new. But hey, they're happy about it. They love it. They have a great time. So here you can see some of the shops that here. Express, I used to shop there when I was a lot skinnier um, or a lot fitter, I should say. I'm still, I'm still relatively skinny because I can't gain any weight. Um, used to shop there. Unfortunately, I don't anymore because I got married. And my wife can't leave me even if I'm ugly. So we're here too at the AMC 20. This is one of the only places that we can, uh, this is one of the only places that we've watched a movie here in Kansas City. So there's an AMC 20 behind me and also a Dick Sporting Goods. And so we're here at the Town Center Plaza just to give you uh, a sense of kind of what it's like. We can't, I came here a little bit earlier because I have a few appointments later on in the day, so I can't um, come here when, it's, when the hustle and bustle is on. But today's a, I think today's like a Thursday or, or Wednesday. And so there's not gonna be a lot of hustle and bustle anyway. But during the weekends, this place certainly gets really busy. It's um, really crowded. We do come down here once in a while just to eat and kind of experience the atmosphere. But we don't shop down here because like I said before, we are Facebook Marketplace shop shoppers and we are cheap. So now we're gonna head to a place called Geezer Park, which is a great park here in Leewood that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. Okay, welcome to Geezer Park. Geezer Park is known as Geezer Park because a bunch of old geezers decided to build this park and I think that they're all buried here now. Actually, that's a lie. Don't repeat that story if you move here. Um, I just made that up. 
I don't know why it's called the Geezer Park, to be honest with you. But it's a really nice park here in Kansas City. Uh, or I should say in Leewood. You can see behind me, a bunch of kids are playing here. Uh, there's a stream that runs through, runs through this park. And the first time that I came here, I uh, almost pushed my stroller with Keller in it into the stream. So you see some kids playing behind me near the stream. It's always a really cool, cool area um, for the kids to play. And yeah, when my son was, like I said, I think it was like three or four months we came here and uh, I think I wasn't paying attention. I was just kind of looking around and I almost pushed him like right off the um, road here into the stream. I think I was, I don't know, just distracted by how nice this park was. So here's part of Geezer Park. In all seriousness, so I think it's called like Gehezer. I think it's named after some city in Israel or something like that as a as a biblical studies PhD student I probably should know a little bit more about it than I do but you know what I don't know uh, it just gives you a sense of what this park is like it's kind of loud here sorry about that There's a lot of people mowing right now and that's just kind of what it is right now you can see behind me really nice stream or pond I should say So we'll head to the other side of Geezer Park and check that out too. So one of the reasons that you may not want to live in Leewood is because the taxes are higher here. But as you can see here at this park and others like it, your tax dollars are going to support these public areas, which are really nice. If you kind of had this similar park in Missouri, I mean, we have something like Loose Park, which is which is nice, but it's definitely not as quiet. Um, it's a lot more crowded because you have a lot less great parks in that area. So a lot of people tend to congregate at the nice parks that are there. So that's one thing to think about when you're considering paying the higher taxes in Johnson County is that it really does go to support these public areas, which are really fantastic and really nice. So make sure to keep that in mind. This side of Geezer Park here, you've got this really, I think those are uh, vineyards or at least grapevines behind me here, if you can see that. And you got this really nice pond here. It's a monument to Zeus, I don't know. Just made that up again. So, don't know a lot about the history of it, but we've been here before. It's a nice place. No swimming, so in case you wanted to swim in this pond, you couldn't, which sucks because it's so hot right now. I'd just like to jump in the water. But that would be kind of insane, and somebody would be like, hey, don't swim. So I won't do it. See behind me here that there are some houses that are right on the border of Geezer Park, and these houses can range anywhere from, man, like 500,000 to 900,000, depending, and maybe maybe even more, depending on if it's really nice. I mean, it's such a quiet park, and it's such a nice place to spend time that I would love to have a, a kind of pass-through right here. You can see behind me, straight into the park from your neighborhood, because it is super quiet, it's super peaceful, it's really nice. I mean, you can walk straight from your neighborhood right into this park, there's nobody, I mean, it's almost 10 o'clock here on a weekday, of course, granted, it's not gonna be as uh, quiet as it, or as busy as it would be if it was a weekend. But that's Geezer Park for you. So we're walking around here in the neighborhoods right behind Geezer Park, and man, you can't tell me that this isn't the perfect setup right here where you have your house, literally your garage goes out and then you right behind me can walk straight into one of the nicest parks in the Leewood area. Man, that's gotta be prime. So we're coming here and there are a few houses for sale in this area and I'll pop them up here so that you can see them and you can see the different price points in this neighborhood. But man, this is a, a really nice neighborhood, really quiet neighborhood. One of the things that I can always tell if these neighborhoods are, are quiet and the kind of uh, people who live in these neighborhoods are just the cars, you know, like you have any anything from, you know, the You got the, the mid-size Sedan like Toyota Corolla all the way up to like the Mercedes Benz's and the and the BMW's and the Tesla's and stuff like that And so man this neighborhood Here Would be a beautiful place for you to live if you wanted to live in Leewood if you wanted to move to Kansas City and move to one of the most affluent areas of Kansas City here we have a house here 
in Leewood that is pending a sale already. And houses don't last here in Leewood. Once they hit the market, it's such a desirable area that people immediately want to hop on that and people want to get into this area and they'll overpay because they know that home prices will stay pretty stable because it's such a desirable area here in Kansas City. I have just met the, one of the nicest people uh, mm -hmm. in, who lives in Leewood, resident of Leewood for 35 years, so you said? At least 35. At least 35 years. Mm -hmm. And your name is Nancy, we won't, won't, won't put okay. your, your okay. last name on, on, on camera. That's but fine. just wanted to ask you, so you've been in Leewood for 35 years. What's the, what's the best part of living in Leewood? Oh, the people. Mm -hmm. it, the people and the streets. I mean, the, the trees are mature. When it's hot out, you just sit underneath them mm -hmm. and have a little picnic. Walk underneath. That's the biggest part to me. I walk every day. Okay. And walking, they, 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 they're like this. Yeah. It's just like a canopy. Exactly. Yeah. No, no sun coming and through. And it's green. Mm -hmm. And our experience with the people has been wonderful. Yeah. Um, we built the house and uh, the neighbors. You, you have to have good neighbors that, sure. that will help you if there's an emergency. Yeah. Yeah, just like anywhere, you can have great neighbors or bad neighbors, and that could ruin the experience, right? That's right. Yeah. But we ours have always been good. Wonderful. I, I, my car broke down at the mailbox, and I thought, well, nobody's going to help me. Everyone came out of their house and lined it. That's sweet. And my cousin appeared on the scene, and I was kind of in there. So we took uh, cookies to each of them. Yeah, wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's so that's so cool. Thanks for sharing your, your experience yeah. there. So if, if you could say, because this, this, this is for people who are considering moving to Leewood. I help people from like mm -hmm. California, uh, New York, oh. Florida. People are relocating here because mm -hmm. Kansas City is a really popular mm -hmm. place to relocate. Um, what would you say are the negatives of living in Leewood? Uh, well, there's not much crime and that's good. That's a good but thing. But you yeah. do anything, if you speed a little bit, They'll get you. They have nothing to do. They're going to pull you over. Okay. I, that's the only, I, I mean, once um, a guy was sitting outside of our, my house, my husband was gone for mm -hmm. the weekend, and I'd been to Yaya's, and I told the guy there that it, my husband was gone. I had two women with me. Later that night, a van parked outside, mm -hmm. but we had a dog. And I, w I peeked out, and he was looking straight at our house. But we had a dog, and she went into that formation, stiff, yeah. and just stared him down, called the police. They pulled up behind him right away, and he, he left. But the negatives, I don't know. I don't know. It's OK. You don't have to make up anything if it's just all positive, you know? It is. I, it, I, I, I don't know. It depends on your family. Sure. I, have, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't have children anymore, mm -hmm. but they love the schools. We, they went to Catholic schools, so. though. Okay, so and, private, private right. Catholic. Yeah. Uh, but I hear these are great schools up here. Um, yeah. Leewood Middle and yeah. Elementary. Mm -hmm. I can't think of any negatives. I mean, I've just seen a ton of families here yeah. in here, and then you can walk straight over to Geezer Park here and just right. go in there, and that's kind of where I was walking around earlier I think today. It, as long as you are friendly, they're going to be friendly, but if you're not, they yeah. pick up on it and they just there's the cold shoulder yeah that's kind of like anywhere yeah and yeah. They, they you move in and they will bring things over to you you know cake or yeah wh whatever yeah I, don't know, I can't think of any negatives okay well thank you for You're your time welcome. nancy i well, appreciate it good luck okay yeah. so let me tell you a story you are a 35 year old dude you love to golf you're out in um, your neighborhood and all of a sudden uh, you're not looking and boom you got hit by a Lexus and uh, you get a settlement for $10 million and all of a sudden you're like hey I'm gonna move to Kansas City Missouri or I'm gonna move to Kansas City uh, and I'm going to move to the best neighborhood in Kansas City not Missouri it's over in Kansas okay uh, not only am I gonna move to the best neighborhood I'm gonna move to the best subdivision within that neighborhood and so here we are in Hallbrook, Kansas. This is where you're gonna end up if you get that settlement check for getting run over by a Lexus, like Jean Raffio says in Parks and Rec. So this is the elite of the elite. So you have houses here. I would bet every house on this street here is going to be over a million dollars, um, well over a million dollars in some cases. And most of the houses here in Hallbrook are gonna be, I think I saw one that cracked 900,000. But if you're buying in Hallbrook, 
uh, in 2023 or beyond, then don't expect to be paying less than that. I mean, it is a beautiful location, private. I mean, when we uh, take a look at these trees, I mean, it's complete canopy. So you can't even see the sun. I mean, it's a hot day today. I'm sweating. <clears throat> I put my deodorant on, uh, thankfully, because if I didn't, then I'd be stinking it up right out here. But um, even with this, this canopy of trees, it's, it's just beautiful here. And so these are gonna be, this is like the most affluent of the affluent. I've never played Hallbrook Country Club, and that's the reason I mentioned if you get a settlement and you like to golf, let's just say that Lexus ran over you right in the right spot so that you can still golf, you can still live here because there is Hallbrook Country Club, and that's one of the most exclusive golf clubs in Kansas City. I've never got to play it because I'm a peon and nobody has invited me yet, but hey, if you decide to move here into Hallbrook and I help you buy your house, then the only thing I want in return is you to invite me to play Hallbrook Country Club because, man, I've seen flyovers of the course. I've seen uh, I've seen the course itself and pictures of the course, and it is nice. So you see here these grand houses. I mean, estates. You've got two-story houses. I'd, I'd estimate this one's like a maybe like a five to six bedroom. So if you have a huge family, you can you can live here too. And you know what? Like these houses in California or in New York or in some of these coastal areas are gonna be in the you know millions, not just a million, right? Some of these houses, of course, are gonna be over the million uh, dollar mark, but man, if you go to California, you're still paying you know, 1.5 million for like a starter home sometimes, right? Uh, kind of where I'm coming from. So I'd rather live here. I mean, this place is beautiful. You got manicured lawns. You've got people who care about their houses. You got people who have pride in home ownership. And so this is the Hallbrook, this is the Hallbrook area. Another story, maybe this is you. Maybe you've been an orthopedic surgeon for 35 years and you decided, hey, my kids have moved to Kansas City because it's one of the hottest places to move and I wanna move there too. I wanna to follow them, I wanna be near my grandchildren. Uh, I want a place where they can all come over and hang out and party and have a good time. Well, Hallbrook is the place for you. Uh, this is gonna be one of the sweetest areas uh, in all of Kansas City, Kansas or Kansas City, Missouri to be living. It's right in the heart of Leewood, like I said before. But if you're gonna move here, then you're gonna need some money because if you don't have money, you're not gonna be living in Hallbrook. If you don't have money, you can live in Leewood, you can live in other parts of Leewood, but you're certainly not gonna be living here, as you can see. And this is a really nice, really nice area. See a Texas license plate there? Maybe they're coming to visit. Um, it's about, you know, 11 o'clock in, uh, in the morning here, and it's quiet. I mean, it's probably quiet because it's kind of hot out here too. You can see this house, this house here. You may not be able to see it, but this house has all broken seals in their windows. So big no-no if you want to um, have good insulation. But hey, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, most inspectors would say it doesn't matter. But yeah, here's Hallbrook. Here's a, a really beautiful area of Leewood that you're gonna definitely want to check out. Um, the only person that I know that lives over here uh, says that it is the dream retirement spot. This is, you know, one of the quietest areas. Of course, if you don't play golf, then I don't think that you're gonna love it as much because they, they rave about the golf course. Um, so I guess I, I do know somebody who who lives in Hallbrook. I wonder why they haven't invited me to play golf yet, but that's okay. So what's up again? I am up in Hallbrook again and in a different neighborhood. And the reason I wanted to show you this was not because there are some beautiful houses here where there are beautiful houses here. Um, but one of the things that you wanna think about is you can hear in the background here, I've run into probably five or six gardeners, um, maintenance people that live in that that work for people who live in Hallbrook. Nobody really does their own lawn here. Nobody really does their own thing here <clears throat> because they have the funds to hire people. And if you're looking to move into Hallbrook into this Leewood area, then you're most likely in the same boat where you're going to be able to to hire people, you're going to be able to get people who can help you with your lawn and help you with your trees and all that kind of stuff. Let me show you this house back here, okay? So this house back here in Leewood, you can see there's a for sale sign in front of it. And this house went under market in eight days. Okay, it's listed for like 1.6 million or something like that. So 1.6 million is squarely in the luxury market in Kansas City. So if you're looking at 1.6, then you're, you're balling in KC. Uh, the average price point in Johnson County is like 500,000. The average price point in Kansas City, Missouri is like, 250,000, 300,000. Um, 
But this house behind me went under contract in eight days, which is blink of an eye, right? If you think about it, if you wanted this house, hit the market today, you better get here in less than, in about a week in order to see it because if, you, if you're not, it's gonna be gone, right? So this house went under contract and from what I could tell with the agent, it went under contract a little bit over list price and they did not ask for much many repairs. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you, you, you saw it there, but as I'm seeing it, it has an older roof. It has like this kind of like wood shingle roof. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's not like the best, I would say. It's not the best, uh, uh, type of type of roof or anything like that so but people didn't care you know uh, under contract above asking no repairs I mean this this neighborhood is hot it is popping uh, not only just hot but it is people are willing to overpay for um, for houses here because they're so rare that they come up here be, people don't like to move people don't want to move people just want to stay here forever and so if you're looking you better give us a call quick 816 move kc 816 move kc i'd love to hear from you man we help people relocate all the time and it's one of the favorite things that we love doing because i know how scared it how scary it is to move to a different area when you don't know anything about the area we moved here from california in 2020 and we knew literally nobody here in kansas city and it was scary it was terrifying for us so man i'd love to be that person who makes your move just a little bit easier i'd love to get to know you and your family if you're moving here with your family so please give me a call 816-4 move kc i would love to hear from you i promise i'll get back to you within a day so let's head on to our next neighborhood in kansas city so maybe you're like hey i really like leewood and everything that you've shown me so far but i would actually prefer a new construction well here i am in the hills of leewood which is a new construction subdivision and you can see this home behind me is for sale a lot of this stuff is built in 2021 to 2022 and this is a really beautiful neighborhood as well really it's not my style i like trees um, but again in 30 years or in 50 years all these trees young saplings and trees will be mature i like fully grown mature trees in my neighborhood but i also can appreciate the fact that when you're out here and you have these young trees you're not going to have these trees blowing over um, all over your house and leaving debris everywhere i mean there's going to be leaves and stuff like that obviously but <clears throat> it's not going to be like anything crazy you can see here this one this foundation is being laid right here this one has already already been sold in the hills so if you're looking for new construction i mean this this could be an area if you like this kind of very suburby living um man this person has some nice cars sprinter van maybe has like five kids or something like that so this is a nice area that i would consider too again not my style but if it's your style Hey, you know, all power to you. This is a beautiful neighborhood. I would be thankful to live here. Um, homes in this neighborhood I saw were ranging anywhere from, man, like 500,000, I think was the cheapest one, and all the way up to like 1.5 mil and above. So you're definitely gonna pay uh, a big price for new construction in Leewood. But that's, you know, one of the things is that your property value will hold, uh, will hold here. And man, in this neighborhood, you're most likely gonna be amongst people if you're looking at new construction in leewood you're going to be amongst people who are doctors lawyers really high price point professionals here because that's really um, what this kind of type of neighborhood attracts so maybe you're somebody who's looking to retire uh, this would be a great place because um, man check out these gold mailboxes you see that that's pretty cool i'm um, sorry but if you're looking to retire that's one of the, that's one this is a, a neighborhood that i would be looking at because you're going to be paying for, um, you know, the HOA to maintain a lot of the outside of your property. Of course, you're going to have your own lawn and stuff like that that you're going to have to mow. But all of the streets are going to be done for you, especially when it snows here. That's nice to have snow removal that your HOA does. Um, but yeah, this is the Hills of Leewood. Come and check it out if you're interested in moving to Leewood, but you don't want a super old house. You want something new construction. This is your place. Okay, so we are headed to our second to last stop in our leeward tour it's a neighborhood called leeward south also a highly rated neighborhood really beautiful homes i can't wait till you we guys get there and um and you guys can see it have you guys seen the um movie up where the uh one of the one of the characters i think it was carl's wife she's like uh she it's a very opening scene where she was like she wants to go to south america and she says it's like america but south that's what I think about when we, whenever I visit Leewood South. It's Leewood, but South. So you can kind of see on my map here, 
we're headed down, uh, I think this is uh, college. I think we're on college. Huh, maybe not. Let me, uh, let me check here. So nope, I was wrong. Uh, we're not on college, we're on State Line Road. And we're gonna turn right here in about a mile into Leewood South to check out some of the homes there. And then, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you stay tuned, I will take you to the cheapest listing in Leewood right now. So if you're looking to get into Leewood and you're saying, hey Jalen, you're showing me all these million dollar houses, uh, this is not helping me because I'm on a budget, well, then you're gonna wanna stick around to the very end where we're gonna check out the cheapest listing in Leewood. We're gonna take a look at the neighborhood, what you can get for, um, we can get to stay within your budget in Leewood. And hey, maybe Leewood is not for you. Maybe you're 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 watching this and you're like, hey, I would love to live in Leewood, but this isn't gonna work for my budget right now. Totally okay. We're doing vlogs on all the major Kansas City areas, so check out our other vlogs. Uh, Leewood is, like I said, uh, one of the highest rated neighborhoods, but there's plenty of neighborhoods around here that if you can't afford Leewood, that you might be able to afford. There's Prairie Village. Man, I don't know if you knew, Prairie Village was like the hottest neighborhood uh, on Zillow last year, or I should say suburb uh, in Zillow last year. Uh, there's Prairie Village, there's Lenexa, there's Shawnee, there's Mission, there's Overland Park, uh, there's Olathe, there's all of these areas that you're gonna have a lot of the benefits of Leewood, but maybe not without some of the prices because Leewood is a lot of old money. A lot of people have been in Leewood forever and a lot of people have never, will never move. Like if you remember Nancy's interview, she's like, hey, I'll never move from Leewood. And that's understandable. It's a super nice area. It's a super nice place to be. And you know what? If I lived in Leewood, I would never want to move too. But if you're saying, hey, I just can't afford it. Well, you know, there's some other areas that are going to work for you. There's some other areas that I think you're going to be totally happy with um, that you're going to get a lot of the benefits of Leewood with a lot young, younger vibe too. I think Leewood, one of the negatives I would say is that because it's a lot of older established um, established people if you're like a really young family then um, you may not connect with a lot of other young families here in Leewood because maybe there aren't that many young families that depends case to case uh, where you where you move into and, and the places where you go obviously you know it's gonna it's gonna depend maybe you move in a whole cul-de-sac in Leewood with a whole bunch of young families um, but for a lot of it, these are people who have been in Leewood for a long, long time, and they intend to stay in Leewood until they die. So I'll catch up with you here uh, in a bit in our, in our next neighborhood in Leewood. Okay, what is up? We are here at Leewood South, and this is a really nice neighborhood. This is one of the neighborhoods that we probably could have afforded to move into when we first moved into Kansas City, but we didn't consider it long and hard enough because we didn't know the area. Um, these homes are anywhere from, I would say four to $600,000 and they are beautiful. And man, you can see that I love, I really love the fact that if you can see here, you just got this canopy of trees and it's raining right now, kind of light rain but I don't know if you can see this, but there's, there's barely any rain getting on me because it's just a canopy of trees here. And it's a really beautiful neighborhood. I really enjoy this area. Um, right behind here is Leewood Country Club. Again, another place that I haven't played because my friends um, aren't either, I don't know anybody here or um, I don't know, maybe they think I'm just like riffraff, they wanna invite me, but whatever. Um, I wanna show you this home up here that went under contract in two days. It's uh, priced at $499,000, so almost $500,000. So you can think of this beautiful neighborhood that you're getting for in the $500,000 range, when depending on where you're coming from, obviously your money isn't gonna go as far here. I know that um, in separate areas, there are gonna be, uh, there, you're not going to be able to get into a neighborhood like this with fantastic schools, with a very, very low crime rate. Hopefully this car doesn't hit me here. Um, for less than, um, you know, a million dollars. But here, uh, this home right here is is priced at a little bit south of $500,000. Uh, $500, so you can kind of stay within that. Now, granted, it probably went a lot higher than that. It probably went for over list price because it was only on the market for two days before it went under contract. But all of these homes are just really beautiful. It's a really peaceful neighborhood. If I had kids here, besides that occasional car, I mean, you can see I'm just walking right down the neighborhood here. Nobody's bothering me. Um, it's really, really a beautiful place. 
So I'm gonna post pictures of this home behind me here. But you can see this home posted on the market, sold extremely fast and it's gone, two days. So if you're looking to move to this area, just like that home that we showed before in Hallbrook, you're not gonna have a lot of time to get a home under contract if you're not really reaching out to people, uh, reaching out to somebody and getting them, getting ready for when you come and visit and see homes. Um, you're not gonna have that much time to, to get a home under contract. So that's one thing that you definitely wanna keep in mind. If you're moving to Leewood, give us a call, reach out because you're not gonna have very much time. So you can see it's getting a little bit busier here as people are driving past me, probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. There's a mailman. But yeah, really safe, really nice neighborhood. I would think a lot of kids in this neighborhood, um, it's a more affluent area. I think you're really gonna enjoy it if you can afford this price point to live in Leewood here. So what's up peeps? We are um, headed to what you've all been waiting for, which is the cheapest listing in Leewood. Now, let me caveat this a little bit. Um, number one, I am not including um, townhomes, duplexes, half duplexes, condos, and stuff like that. I'm not including those things. What I am only including is single family homes. So this is the cheapest standalone single family home detached um, with its own plot of land that is listed right now in Leewood. It is for $350,000 and it is in a neighborhood called uh, Mission Heights. And so it is, it is the cheapest house that's standalone that you can find in Leewood. So we're checking out the area. We're right next to Iron uh, Iron Horse Golf Club, which I've actually never played, but I've practiced at plenty of times with some good friends. They have a really primo practice facility if you're in the area and you're looking for golf. Iron Horse is fantastic. So that's gonna be one of the things that you think about too, is in moving to Leewood, like I said before, are you gonna get, um, in terms of cost per house, one of the, the cons is, is it's pretty expensive. I, I can I can find better houses in better areas for what this house is listed for, for $350,000 than you can in Leewood. Uh, it's just what it's gonna be. But you're paying a premium to live in the most premium area of Kansas City. And if you're okay with that, then good. I mean, this, this, this house is definitely gonna appreciate. It's gonna be great. Um, so, uh, that's one thing to think about too, is if you're willing to be patient, you're willing to move here, kind of wait it out for five years, all of Johnson County is gonna continue to appreciate. At least as my prediction. I don't see anything happening where it's gonna be some huge crash. I mean, this area is just so, so, so desirable that people are coming in from left and right, from all over the place. So that's gonna keep property values high and not a lot of people are, are selling. I mean, I wish that I could get more listings in Leewood, but it's really tough right now to get a listing heck anywhere in the KC Metro but in Leewood especially because people here are happy they're super happy and they're just willing to kind of wait it out and stay here for the long term so well that's one of the negatives let's check out this listing we're only gonna check out the outside and let's get to it okay so we have finally gotten here I say finally because it actually was really really hard to get here to the cheapest listing single-family home on the market in Leewood. And I think one of the reasons that this one's so cheap is for $350,000, you can live right at this super, super busy intersection of 151st and Mission. And man, if you have young kids, I mean, this, this property has a backyard, but if you have young kids, then this is not going to be the ideal scenario for you. I'll tell you that right now. And that's probably one of the reasons why this property is so cheap is because it is not suited. I mean, there's no sidewalk over here. You can see as I come over here, there's no sidewalk, there's no there's nowhere to walk. I mean, there's just a driveway. So even showing this property would be really difficult because of how busy this place is. So you can see that, um, in my opinion, for $350,000 in Leewood, um, I would be looking elsewhere if, if I were you. If this is your price point and you're wanting to move to Leewood, then I'd be looking at the Prairie Villages. You can get something decent in Prairie Village for 350. Uh, you can get something great in Olathe for 350. You can get something awesome in Overland Park for 350. But man, in Leewood, it's just inflated to the point right now where if you want to spend $350,000, then you're going to have to be right here. So if you're looking to move, please give, give us a call. 816-4-MOVE-KC, 816-4-MOVE-KC. I also included our email 
and every other con way that you can contact us right down below, 8164MoveKC, or you can reach out via email, call or text us. We will get back to you before the end of the day today. Thanks for watching.